Royal Knights do and the international markets you currently operate in? Yeah, well really we, we focus on the telecommunications industry uh, and in fact we have a problem, we have hardly any home markets so we have to go international. So we sell to companies like Nokia, Siemens, Cisco, Juniper um, and they really are distributed around the world from North America, US and Canada, across Europe and in Asia and really to be successful in this business you have to hit all the regions so in some ways we had no option but to go international and go abroad. And what new markets are you trying to move into at the moment? Really it's trying to grow the key markets, especially in places like China, it's a, a big opportunity for us. We've just hired another person in China and now have two people directly in China. Um, and there's just so much expansion of the telecommunications infrastructure there and so much money getting put into it, it's a huge opportunity for us. But even in all the markets we're in, there is great potential across the whole region for us to keep growing and uh, hopefully continue to be successful. Great. And what are the challenges that you've had to overcome breaking into new markets? Yeah, it's really getting pressing, so I guess it's been different in each region, you know, in Europe where I guess we're kind of based in Europe, it, it was just coming to market with, with a first product and just, you know, it was the first time we had to go to customers. Then going to North America was the next challenge getting into there. Um, it was more of a challenge, I think, just because it, um, there's an expectation for support locally and, and we had to explain that we could support it effectively there. And then going to Asia was probably the hardest because the language thing becomes a problem. Finding Europe language isn't really a problem for the type of people we sell, they all speak English. Um, but in Asia you really need local support and, and having good people that we could work with from a distance was a, a challenge finding but we've got a great team really on board now. And what does it mean to Cal Knights winning this award tonight? Oh, it's great to get a trophy. <laughs> I think it's really good for the team, you know, it's good that, you know, it's ultimately for our customers, we don't have customers here, but you know, the team is great that there's a bit of recognition to the team that they see the local environment actually recognise the Cal Calnex and they, fundamentally, they've achieved something and actually grown a business and grown a global business. And what does it mean, um, what do these awards mean in terms of the Scottish digital technology community? How important are they? I think it's very important to show people that we can be successful in a global market. We actually, you know, everything's designed here, we do all the marketing from here. We have local salespeople which you really need close to your customers, it's the only thing that's outside. The product's actually manufactured locally. So everything's done in Scotland and we're competing very successfully right across the world. So sometimes you hear that people speak as if Scotland can't compete in these markets, but you can if you're, you're daft enough or brave enough to have a go. Great, thanks very much. Thank you.